Josh Groban's summer tour sold out nearly every show, and the superstar did not disappoint. The crowd in Canandaigua in late August loved it. Thank you very much. And Groban showed some love for his conductor. We are equally uh, thrilled to be here with uh, Shauna Lachlan and the CMAX Festival Orchestras right here behind us. A wonderful grouping of musicians, a gaggle. A murder, what do you call them? An orchestra, it's an orchestra. <laughs> busy summer for Sean O'Loughlin. Before going on the road with Josh Groban, the Syracuse native toured with Melissa Etheridge. He may be classically trained, but O'Loughlin also speaks rock and roll. Steven Tyler, Sarah McLaughlin, Melissa Etheridge, Josh Groban, Adele. I mean, you're a kid from Lincourt, New York. Yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, th that's, it's a harder question to answer within the time we have here. It started with the trumpet in second grade at Lincourt School. He was good enough to get a full ride to study music at SU, where he discovered that his real passion wasn't playing, but composing. It's always that moment of creation when it goes from here to here, you know, from here into the world. It's always, it never gets old. You love what you do. I don't know how to do anything else. So. <laughs> After SU, O'Loughlin headed for Boston to get his master's at the New England Conservatory. He couldn't afford tickets to the Boston Pops, so he got a job as a bartender at Symphony Hall good move. And I had a, a piece performed by the Boston Pops through um, the head of the bartenders. He heard this piece that I wrote. The head of the bartenders? Yeah, he heard, I, I gave him a cassette tape. This is, I may, might be dating myself here, <laughs> but I gave him a cassette tape. It was this fanfare that I had written, and then he passed it on to the artistic planner for the Boston Pops, and I had a call back um, the next day on my um, answering machine, and I talked to him, and, and they ended up programming a concert. I'm 20, three, 24 years old, having something played by the Boston Pops. That gave Sean the courage to move to Los Angeles. It was tough. He even had to sell one of his handmade trumpets to pay the bills, but he wouldn't sell out. I didn't want to have a what if question down the road. I didn't want to fall back on something. I didn't want to, because my, my whole theory is if you, if you have something to fall back on, you will fall back. He didn't have to. A producer with the Los Angeles Philharmonic needed an arrangement for a concert at the Hollywood Bowl. So I get a call on, I think it was a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The concert was Friday. So there were, <laughs> there were two songs that they needed arranged and the rehearsal was Thursday. So yeah. you literally have 48 hours yeah, and to there was show no sheet. up and be good. Yeah, and there was no sheet music. And I've always found you say yes, and then you figure out how to do it. Exactly. <laughs> doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean anything at all. That philosophy got Sean his big break when Sarah McLaughlin asked him to tour with her. They did a dozen shows together in 2012. And the coolest part is she would, you know, sing these great songs that she has in her catalog. Very dynamic performance. And then she had her girls, her two girls with us on the bus. And so, like, literally, she would go from playing her, her um, kind of heartbreaking ballad, Angel, and then, you know, 20 minutes later, we'd be on the bus and she'd be reading Goodnight Moon. He's conducted for some of the biggest stars in music and many of the nation's great orchestras. But one of the biggest honors came a couple of years ago. The Syracuse Symphony had just folded 
and a new orchestra was forming. Sean was asked to be the principal pops conductor. He wrote the piece that would reveal the name Symphoria on opening night. That was pretty inspiring. It also means Sean gets to come home five or six times a year. And yeah, she waits for me like this just Aww. every time. The O'Loughlins still live in Leancourt in the house where he grew up. Is it good to have your guy home? It's it is. wonderful. Aww. That's what I like about Central New York so much is that it is family based and um, it, the support there, you, you, it just doesn't go to the next level without a home base. And so I call them my trampoline. You know, they let me jump as high as I can because I know that trampoline's always going to be there. How are you? <laughs> Sean's sisters are here too, along with his nieces and nephews. Say hi. <laughs> it's that element that my wife and I are, you know, looking to create where we live in, in Los Angeles. So having that kind of good solid base and that hometown feel, there's, there's nothing like it. Mm -hmm.